Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to one of the best selling hatchback in Europe which is the Skoda Fabia style color concept. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the interiors, the exteriors and we'll be going on a short drive in this Skoda Fabia. Before we move forward please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel. So the Skoda Fabia style color concept comes with two tone body color so you get silver top roof roof and also the pillars and the side mirrors and the rims there is also a black color option so you can choose either of the two colors and also you would get the complete side mirrors and rim in the black package also and the base colors are red green blue white uh, and black and so many different options that you can choose from so starting off from the front you get the distinctive Skoda style grille which is the vertical slotted grille in black color and the chrome surround around it and the new Skoda badging that you get out here and these headlights are LED headlight cluster and they are dynamic LED headlight cluster and also they have the cornering lights in them at the bottom you would find halogen fog lamps but the styling is very similar to the Skoda lineup so on the sides really love the shape of this hatchback it's such a fun little thing if you see from the side profile and on the sides you get 17 inch alloy rims and these are non power foldable but they are power adjustable uh, side mirrors and again the silver roof and the uh, side mirrors along with the rims that you can customize to black and also the rear doors which continue pretty much all the way till the back so in the back a very sorted and simplistic looking bag that you would notice and instead of the Skoda badging you have the Skoda inscription out here and again uh, an LED tail light uh, out here and then the actual tail light cluster is a mixture of LED and halogen bulbs a reflector at the bottom and the exhaust pipe is a single tip which is uh, slightly under and behind the bumper but in terms of the boot space this is where the Skoda Fabia outshines any other hatchback so you get 330 liters of boot space which is super gigantic and not even that this boot separator is adjustable so you can remove that and you can put it at the middle layer so as to you know divide the 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 area in the inside the boot and also the seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 is to 40 and they can be folded from right here like there's a button given uh, on the seat itself so you can just fold them down and when you fold those seats down you get 1001 150 liters of boot space although the seats don't completely uh, fall down but yet how much ever they fall they are still good enough to give you 1150 liters of boot space there are also more storage options out here like hooks and you know a strap where you can put maybe a bottle or something and there are more uh, cubby uh, storage out here as options and one more cool bit you also get a spare wheel a full size spare wheel which is again your 17 inch spare wheel out here and so they managed to give you 330 liters of boot space and also the spare wheel that is pretty awesome well Skoda Fabia prioritizes in terms of the sensibility and the usability so you get uh, normal plastic but then good quality plastics everywhere so you can feel actually that they are meant to last all the abuse during their entire lifetime of you know using it daily so you get uh, normal plastic dashboard out here and also the door cards but again good quality plastic even on the sides and out here and then you get this brushed aluminium uh, plastic tray to give you the aluminium effect now coming to the dashboard you get two big dials on both the sides which is again the Skoda design typical Skoda design and then a center screen in which you can you know change your different options where you can have your vehicle settings that you can see you can change the audio you can also have the communications and various other settings that you can scroll through and have a look through that screen so it's a very easy to use screen also now coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is leather covered steering wheel but then I find it a tad too bigger in size than the usual you know i don't know maybe it's just me or i don't know it, it, it could be just me but yeah i find it a little bigger and on the right side you get the controls like a scroller and buttons to control the the center screen which is given to change all the different settings on it and on the left side you would get the infotainment controls and your communication controls and also there is a normal cruise control but then 
in the very typical skoda sense it has been mounted on the column on the left side of the steering wheel behind it and then you can you know control everything is clearly marked and you know you can use the cruise control the steering wheel is uh, manually adjustable which is your tilt and telescopic the infotainment screen is a 6.5 inch uh, crystal clear infotainment screen because i want to mention the fact crystal clear because it's a very nice and a crisp looking system and it's a very responsive touch screen also and everything has a shortcut around the menu so you can use the radio options you can have the media you can have the phone you can have the setup and then setup has different options inside it you can change the various bits like your units in which you want to see all the you know parameters on your car and also you can have reset buttons and the screen and the sound and time and date and everything then there is also app options in which you can you know connect uh, to the infotainment system you uh, on the given on the car itself which i'm going to be coming in a bit and then there is also a car option in which you can see your green score how good you are driving you know uh, effectively you are driving eco friendly driving and also you can have the driving data you can have numerous other options you know long term average and all of that there's vehicle status and all of that so in terms of the connectivity you get bluetooth usb apple carplay android auto and also the mirror link so you can use either of these systems to connect to the infotainment screen and then there are two big dials on both the sides to control the various functions one is the volume knob and one is the scroller but very very easy to use it's a very family friendly screen that they have put out here which you can just get in and start using coming to the air conditioning controls again they are all manual controls and again very simple so simplistic usage is what they've given priority in this cabin instead of you know giving you plush interiors and you know complicated systems to operate but instead it's just very simple easy to use system so you have dials for your ac one is the fan dial and one is the temperature and then you get just the normal climate control system and then you can change your uh, uh, various other settings like your airflow and everything from here and now in terms of the storage you get uh, one liter worth of bottle storage on the door cards there is some more storage at the uh, bottom under the air conditioning uh, system there is where you can put your phones but then not big phones but small phones and then there are weirdly some cup holders but then the cup holder sizes are a little too small i feel than the usual in fact the second uh, cup holder is actually very small but the 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 normal one is all right i mean you know they are deep enough and but yet they 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 sort of have this weird sort of design and also you get the glove box which is pretty huge i mean this is by far the biggest even by a hatchback or even a sedan standards so there is a lot of storage out here and then there is a center armrest which is foldable so you have ample of space otherwise but when you don't uh, or when you want to use the armrest there is also one that you can put down and also there is a bit of storage inside i mean i've just put a mount camera mount out here but you can make out of you know there is decent amount of storage you can put your wallet or something out here there's also storage in the rear uh, door cards where you can put half a liter worth of bottle and that is pretty much about it there is also a glass holder again a glass holder which is pretty rare but given out here now coming to the seats the seats are fabric seats again in black color with the white stitching and they are manually adjustable so they are six way manually adjustable and even the passenger seat is six way manually adjustable but they are pretty broad and they are really comfortable i've also mentioned before that you know fabric seats are really a good choice because during uh, summer season especially in uae it's a task because let us the seats tend to get really hot but in this you will never have that sort of problem so in the front glass you also get a clip to hold your parking ticket also notice that the engine start stop button is given out here instead of you know the usual place on the dashboard so you know where the key would usually be uh, there is like a button given out here but again coming to the dashboard the dashboard is actually a very usable space where you know you can put stuff and you know like your papers or books or anything and then they would just stay there instead of the sli uh, sort of uh, sloping uh, dashboard where you know everything keeps falling off now in the back there is decent amount of leg space like and these uh, these seats are in my driving position so you get about 
this much of uh, leg space out there also the seats are curving so you get extra leg room and also there is quite a bit of headroom because this car doesn't slope generally too much so which is why you get a lot of uh, head space and also there is enough of space under the seats uh, to slide your legs but the seats are actually pretty upright you know instead of a little recline which you would you know find a uh, little comfortable during the longer journeys but they are like flattish relatively and also the middle seat is pretty flat you know where the third uh, or the middle passenger can easily sit and also you know there is a bit of a tunnel out here but that's not a too much of a bother so three people can sit out here but then that will be a bit of a squeeze but two people can easily sit but it's a very comfortable hatchback that way and again you get fabric seats in the black fabric uh, option and this uh, white stitching as a design but here's one more bit which is you get three headrests even for the middle passenger there is a headrest and also it can drop down and it's not like a fixed one so it's not in your in the driver's way where in the rear view glass now coming to the rear view glass actually the rear view glass is a little smaller than the usual which tends to cut off a little bit from the bottom you know the visibility of the rear view and you get six speaker music system in this car now in terms of the other storage there is no handrest out here so it's like a fixed seat which is in a ratio of 60 to 40 there is a small storage out here probably to you know store your keys or something and then there are two usb ports out here so in terms of the connectivity or charging you get one usb port and also one 120 watt power socket in the front and two usb ports in the back so there are plenty of usb ports that way for a tiny little car also there are no ac vents in the back and also no sunroof on this one so the skoda fabia style color concept comes with a 1.6 liter multi-point fuel injection which is the mpfi four cylinder petrol engine that produces 109 brake horsepower and it produces 153 newton meters of torque now in this uh, engine is mated to a six-speed Tiptronic transmission and it's a front-wheel drive car. So coming to the engine straightforward, it, um, although the power is less, but it's a decent engine, let me be honest, because it's a naturally aspirated. So it's just the, the straightforward engine gearbox, uh, you know, use. But uh, the what i find is sometimes while accelerating the engine lacks that response you know when i press the throttle it takes a little bit to respond unless you are in the sport mode then it's a different case because in the sport mode the the throttle response is much more faster and you know much more rapid but in this it's a little it tends to keep hold back but it wants to gradually accelerate you know and not like very aggressively accelerate so in that sense it's it's a little on the on the sluggish side i would say but whenever it's in the sport mode it's a it's a very very aggressive gear changes which i found like you know when you are when you are slowing down it tends to like you know change the with a bit of a jerk you know the gears but it it is trying to make it look a little more sporty in the sport mode but i get that point but otherwise i mean yeah it's okay but in terms of the fuel economy i'm averaging anywhere between 12 to 13 on this one also you can go up to 14 if you are you know very uh, light with your uh, uh, right foot so but uh, the clean average is somewhere between 18.5 kilometers per liter so maybe on a longer run you may be able to squeeze out that much of uh, you know uh, efficiency from the system now the suspensions on the fabia are on the softer side and as a result it gives the fabia a bit of a roll but coming to the steering wheel and the steering response is pretty decent i would say because at higher speeds it seems like you are gliding a little bit you know it's it's a little flighty sometimes but the turning radius is pretty small on this one because it's a hatchback and also it's got a very short uh, wheelbase and as a result of that it can maneuver around tighter corners or also the narrower spaces now coming to the braking system the the Skoda Fabia has two front disc brakes and two drums in the back but the braking action isn't compromised at all like you know 
yeah it grips really well so the moment you slam the brake pedal it really goes uh, and you know uh, catches the brakes properly but coming to the safety system now you get two front airbags for the driver and the passenger and then there are also other safety systems like the parking sensor so there is no camera or anything on this one just the parking sensor and also there is uh, ABS there is uh, electronic brake uh, distribution there is also the vehicle stability in general and also you get the child isopic point in the uh, rear both the rear seats but I mean that is pretty much it in the safety department but it's a solidly built car is what I can tell you for sure like you know Skoda cars are well made and they have supreme build quality that's a special thing to mention for sure so the Skoda Fabia style color concepts uh, comes in at 66,000 dirhams and the normal Skoda Fabia style comes wherein the there is no two-tone body color but just uh, one single color comes in at 61,000 dirham so I mean price wise it's a pretty up there like you know with the competitors and also it offers quite a bit of sensibility so what's the final verdict you may ask now Skoda has given a particular you know uh, attention to you know the usability the sensibility and also the family friendly features instead of you know giving you the interiors which are like you know lush and you know unnecessarily too much inside the the cabin but instead it's a straightforward easy to use car so in that sense it's a very everyday and mind you the build quality is extremely well so that you know even the plastics they would last really long so in that sense it's a pretty sensible little hatchback for sure anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this one and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care